your own. Thank you for coming back. It means a lot to me. Today we're going to be talking about why I decided to cut my hair. Most times when I meet people for the first time, their first question, I'm not even kidding, is usually why did you cut your hair? What made you cut your hair? Oh, you must be so confident. Most girls are going to be blah blah blah. I'm not saying it's all about I guess you guys. I guess you guys from your city. Right? But it's honestly not about confidence for me or how confident I am. Although I'm not saying that I'm not confident or anything, but I'm not 100 percent there. It's honestly it has always been about what makes me comfortable. Cutting my hair was something that was coming. So it's going to come sooner or later. So sharp coming because I'm usually attracted to simple things in life. Like once I see something like less stressful than something else, I usually end up going for the less stressful things. It has its advantage, it has its disadvantage, but that's where I am. And I'm really attracted to like you know just really simple things. So I feel like cutting my hair was just bound to happen. My only regret was not cutting it sooner to be honest because you guys this is the life i'm not even kidding I, I, i'm not even playing with you guys this is the life when i cut my hair i cut my hair in 2018 i remember doing my nyc video but when i cut it i didn't exactly go this low first of all so still a bit high i'll put a picture somewhere I felt lower when I followed one of my friends in the salon. He was doing it, he was going to cut his hair, and I was like, okay, let me just follow since I was going to cut my hair too. So we went together and he's like, I should trust him to like tell the barber what to do to my hair. I'm like, okay. Honestly, I was not really like skeptical. I was not, I was not really like scared because I was just like, whatever. I, I, I honestly don't have anything to do when it comes to when, when it comes to my hair. So I was just like, you know what, let's do it. So he's like, okay. It, when, the bar, when I finished cutting my hair, the way I usually cut my hair, it was like, no, I should go lower. Ah, I'm like, okay. So I went lower. It's like, no, go lower. They were like, go low, go low, go low. You were start going and they were going. Oh, we were done. It was only love at first time. Like, I just fell in love with my head. I'm going to say hair because <laughs> it was my head I fell in love with you guys. And I just fell in love. And I was not able to like look any other way, to be honest. You guys, cutting my hair and finding love is one thing. Finding the right, finding the right barber, honestly, was a struggle for me. I'll go to a salon, right? I'll take the barber, okay, I want to cut my hair, cut everything. You'll be like, ah, are you sure you want to cut everything? Women don't usually cut everything. Are you sure your girl would like gown? Uh, did I ask you, bro? And I have zero to no tolerance for people that just feel like they need to give you their opinion when I didn't even ask. So I went to the Baba. I always had a lesson to say. And I kept going on. And for a while, you guys, I just ended up cutting my hair. My friend ended up cutting my hair for me. Like, I'll just go to, we'll just go somewhere, we we'll just come over, and then it'll help me cut my hair. That went on for a while. But I was able to, like, find this Baba I have now. Even if it was a bit annoying at first, but now we're actually kind of guys. I know a lot of you will be like, why don't you cut it by yourself? But I really enjoy people cutting my hair for me. It's just like, it's just like really interesting. And I, I, I don't think I would derive that much joy if I cut my hair myself. So guys, being in the salon is one thing. The stress of having to like, tell them to just do what you are saying and not question my... It's my head. And not question me. Coming out of the salon is another thing. When I'm going to the salon, I usually end up taking, even till now honestly, I end up taking like my durag or my bucket hat with me because people just always have something they want to see. I come out of the side people are like, huh, you be man or be woman. Even the one I go and when you women ask me about a man, are you mad? Like, are you mad? Then a woman came to ask me, a woman came to meet me and she was like, how you define husband like this when you look like a man? I'm not the one to like talk back and be like, what's your problem? I just looked at her and I was just like, I wanted to change it for her, but honestly, I wasn't just in the mood. The other day, I went to the salon with my friend Joanne, and she had to stay behind me to just fight my fight my people for me because I was just walking, just like, why am I so cut hair like this? Some of them like it, right? But some of them are just most of them just have something they want to say. And you guys, I'm not even up for all that. I don't want to be left alone when I post a picture. People don't always have something they want to say. Either something sexual. Like, um, I want to put oil on your head, I want to rub your head. And I, you know what I told you the other day, I want to play with your head. I have to ask you if my head is like a toy. Because I don't get it. Can't I, can't I just leave and just 
enjoying my head without someone having to sexualize my head or having to say something that I didn't ask for. You guys, whatever a woman does with her head is none of your business. Like even if you're a woman, you're a man, it's not, just keep your opinion to yourself. Because even after your opinion, I'll ask you, but I didn't. So I don't get it. I honestly do not get it. But if someone else was telling me that doing my hair, someone will probably take me seriously. Maybe that's why I'm not stuck in a relationship. She's an older woman, so I'm like, someone won't take me serious. Even if I carry the phone that is as high as this, they won't take me serious, they won't take me serious. It's not about how I look or whatever. Or, and, and, the one that, and, the one that, and the ones that are annoying me, so the ones that I'll be like, oh, um, or they'll ask me, do you want to go out? I'll be like, yes, right? They'll be like, oh, or make sure you wear a wig. Me, that I'm crying my head like this, I don't know that I like it, or now I feel like, because I want to go out with you, I should wear a wig. If you have that kind of opinion, please don't ask me out, because I will not answer you. Tell me to wear a wig, or telling me that they want me to look more feminine. Getting annoyed, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the type to like get unnecessarily annoyed, but it's honestly getting annoyed. Like, I have to give people back the way they're giving me my DM sometimes because you, I'm done. This is just supposed to say that whatever it is you do with your hair, whatever it is you do as a woman, I want to make it a woman fight here. Whatever it is you do as a woman, who just always have something they want to do, don't say it has to sexualize this or just to make. But just to make it about them, tell me why my mother was telling me that he doesn't like his woman without hair. I have to ask him, am I your woman? He said, no. So why are you telling me? It's all about what I'm comfortable doing. I look in the mirror, I like what I see. That's, that's, what, that, that's what has always been for me. Even with all these things that people have to say, all about you don't have bra, you find mother, blah, blah, blah. I've never for once thought about growing my hair because you get whatever it is you do. People just always have something they want to see. So, in conclusion, I'll just tell you guys to just do you because I don't see why cutting my hair is a problem. Honestly, I don't see why it's a problem. Older people have something they want to see. Younger people, women, men, it is tiring, and I am fed up. This is my, this is my last, and this is me just addressing everybody. Because if you come to my gym and tell me much trouble on my hair, I will swear for you. Honestly, swear that's what I will do for you. Anyway, I'm not this violent, you guys. I'm just here to tell you guys that it's getting so annoying and it's not even funny anymore. <sighs> I think I've come to the end. I think, I think I've come to the end of this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, you guys, because it's a mini Thank you for watching. I love you. Bye.